Hey y'all, let's take a look at Roman numerals today. You might have seen a lot of these already, but you, these are the ones you want to memorize, so you just go ahead and write these down. One is U. No, I'm just kidding, it's not. Okay, it's actually, it looks like an I. Five is a V, 10 is X, 50 is L, 100 is C, 500 is D, and then 1,000 is M. And if you want to know, not, you know, to make your life richer, you can look at the C, for example. That, that's where we get the word centum, century, and then M is millennia. That's where we get the word um, thousand and so on. But anyway, okay. All right, let's, a couple of notes on this. You might want to write these down for Roman numerals. No number do you write more than three times in a row. So uh, we'll look at a couple of examples of that. And the second number, the smaller number is in front of the larger number. That means to subtract. Okay, all right. So let's look at these. Let's just go to one. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna write it in an I without that fancy, this thing on the top and the bottom. So that's one, two, three. Now this is against the rules here, right? We can only write three or three, that's all, okay? So four will be five, but we'll put the smaller number in front, which means to subtract that. So this not literally means five minus one or four. Five is just V, six is five plus one, five plus two, five plus three. I'm a little overboard there, okay, you get the idea, all right? Nine, you can't go, oh, I got it, nine, because we're not allowed to write but three at a time. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go, okay, I've got 10 minus one, that's my nine. And then of course there's 10. All right, and get, buckle your seat belts here, okay? All right, 11, there's your 11, 10 plus one, 10 plus two, 10 plus three, 14, that's my 10. Now, I can't put four of those in a row. So I'm gonna put, you know, a 10, and then I'm gonna put a four next, 10 plus four. So the four is gonna be one taken from five, so X, I, V. 15 will be 10 plus five. 16 is 10 plus five plus one. That's 10 plus five plus two. And there's, you keep going. And then there's 19, there is nothing for 20. So we can write a 10. Then we can write, okay, we need a nine. Well, that's gonna be a 10 there and then minus one, so there we go. 20 is just two X's, okay? Buckle your seat belts, okay? 21, 22, 23, 24. I'm just kidding, okay. There's 24, 20, and then of course I got five minus one, and then 25 is XX, V. 26 is 25, 26. There's 25, 27. 25, 28. And then 29, there is, oh, can't do that. We're gonna have to subtract one from 10, 20, and then this part right here means one subtracted from 10 or nine. 30, we got three X's, there we go, okay. Guess what you're gonna see next? Yeah, you, you guessed it, okay, yeah. 31. There's 30 and then a one. 32, 33, 34, and don't forget you can't put four of these in a row, so one taken away from five. And then 35 is 36. <sighs> Mom, please take me out of Saxon math. Ah, I'll do the dishes for a year. Okay, 39, and then of course we have uh, a nine will be one subtracted from uh, 10. Now, it's tempting to go, oh, 40. What's wrong with that though? Can't have you know more than three in a row. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, wait a minute, the next big deal rather than 10 is 50, okay? So we're gonna actually write the L for 50. And then before that, we're gonna write, well, 40 is 50 minus 10. So there we go, that's it, okay? And then this is the last bunch. All right, of these. 41, we'll have X, L, I, then X, I'm just gonna say these. X, L, I, I, X, L, I, 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 X, L, I, V, and then we can look and put X, L, and then V, there we go. 46, X, L, V, one, X, L, V, two, X, L, V, three, and then 49, hmm. we can't go, you know, 49, what would you think for 49? Okay, the XL, that's 40, right? And then nine is like 10 minus one. There you go. 
That's your XL, IX. Now 50 is just L. Boom. Okay. All right. Let's do for some random ones. Go ahead and pause it and try those five right there. You tell me what you get and see if they match what I get. So if we're both wrong. Okay, pause it and drive. Okay, well 50 is just L. Four is going to be one taken away from five. So L, I, V. Okay. 109. There's 100. 9 is going to be 1 from 10. There. 590? Man. Well, we know 500 is the D, right? It's one of the weird ones everybody forgets. 90? Yeah. Now, 90 is a stinker. Okay, it can't be. But let's say, for example, you go, how do I do 90? Let's see. Um, I'll, do, uh, I'll do 50. And then I'll do 50 plus 40. That's going to be 60, 70, 80, 90. I, wait, oh no, that's four in a row. Oh, crud, what am I going to do? Wait, 90. Oh, 90 is also 10 from 100. So I'll do, that's 500. And then that'll be, you know, 600. But I mean, wait, I'm going to put that before that. This part here will be 100 minus 10. There it is, DXC. Okay, 420. Don't forget, you can't write four C's in a row. Okay, so to do 400, we're going to do a D, and then D minus C, right? So 20 would be this, two, two tens. 1900, you're going you're gonna to go, let's see, uh, well, there's a thousand, and then, but you wouldn't want to go, oh, there's a thousand, and then there's 500, and then there's 600, 700, 800, 900, we can't do that, right, because there's four in a row. So what we're going to do is we're going to go 1,000, and then we're going to go to get 900. We'll take away 100 from another 1,000, right? So MCM, there you go. Okay. All right. Hope that went well. Let's try this one. Write that in the Roman numerals. Pause it and give it a whirl. Okay, 3,000, right? 3,000. 400. Can't write four Cs in a row. So we're going to write 500 minus C. That's 3,400 so far. To get 90, we're gonna, have, we're gonna have to go, okay, that's gonna be 100 minus 10, and then we'll write three, one, two, three, and boom, we got it, okay? All right, you tell me what, what number is represented by D, C, C, L, X, I, V. Well, we know D is 500, right? So another 200 would give us 700, all right? L is 50. But L plus X is 60, right? So one taken away from uh, five would be four. So the answer is 764. There we go. Okay. Look on page 334 and try these practice problems here. Pause it and give them a whirl and come back when you're done. Okay. A is four. That's going to be one subtracted from five. Nine will be one subtracted from 10. 34, we're allowed to use three tens, right? So that'll be uh, 10... 10, 10, and then 1 subtracted from 5 is XXXIV. D, let's take a look at this. That's going to be 200. This will be 30. And this will be 1 subtracted from 10 or 9, 239. This one, that's 100. Uh, X is less than L, so that means it's being subtracted from that. So that is 10 subtracted from 50, which will give us 100. 40. Okay. And F, I've got my thousand there. Uh, that's 500. This part here means 10 subtracted from 50. That's 40. And this means one subtracted from 10, which is nine. There you go. Okay. That's all you wanted to know about Roman numerals and more, I'm sure. So anyway, see you guys next time. Take care.